out to West Virginia. I'm doing a video log of this whole trip. Show you how everything comes out in the end. Thanks for watching. We are set up. I'm out at a dark sky site. I drove out here earlier and I got my refractor set up. It's the first time you guys have seen me imaging with this guy. It is the Explore Scientific ED80. It's an F6 and it has that triplet air spaced apochromatic lens configuration. A nice Explore scientific carbon fiber body. I'll be using my T3i again tonight. I'm still working on getting a dedicated um, astrophotography camera, a cooled one, hopefully. And this is going to be my setup. We got my laptop on my table here and a chair. There's my power cable running out. And then I actually also have my 14 inch Dobsonian set up and in order to scan the skies with some, I'm doing some optical observations while my imaging rig is um, taking exposures. I mean, this thing is a beast though. Look at, if I could unlock this, here we go. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So here's this big old, it's a 14 inch Dobsonian reflector. This thing is a, a beast. And so I gotta do some collimation still, collimate the mirrors and I have to balance my scope over here. And then we'll be up and running. Stay tuned for more folks. Look at that. Three arc seconds polar alignment accuracy. We're ready to rock and roll folks. So I'm imaging Markarian's chain right now. You can see the elliptical galaxies. I'm doing 30 exposures at three minutes apiece. I'm gonna be doing more exposures after this loop. And you can see very clearly the galaxies. Here's even one way over here. Let's take a look at the guiding. Oh uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. We got about 0.3 pixels RMS. Not too shabby. And our stars, eh, they're HFD of about 4.1, not too bad. 